here for a long time Just here for a good time That's what he used to say And how he lived every day My friends will all pile in To his feet of your combi van And head for the mighty Murray Chugging along we were in no hurry is one of those albums, The Night of Our Life, the long and short of it. It has been going there for some time. It's produced already quite a few number one hits. And this one, one of the boys, the new single, looks like it could be well on the way because it's sitting at number two on this week's Country Songs Top 40 Countdown. And joining us now is Patsy and David from The Long and Short of It. Guys, you must be pinching yourself when you think about this album three years down the track where we're at. Yeah, certainly. Can we just do... Yeah! Earth for being at number two. Uh, <laughs> we only got a chance to have a look just before because we've been so busy today and we're just ecstatic um, that it's, it's jumped into number two. Uh, it's been bouncing up and down a little bit, but um, to be number two is absolutely awesome. Yeah, and, and, uh, but, you know, the album has been... Um, it's, it has produced a lot of stuff for us. As you know, we spent, oh, gosh, 14 months uh, over Skype with um, Kenny writing... Uh, the songs on the album and then we went over to Nashville and recorded it and it was a huge project for us and it's really paid off it's been yeah we do we pinch ourselves every day we just can't mm. believe the mileage that we've actually got out of that that album it's it's been a wonderful thing for us it's been awesome yeah. and this particular yeah. this particular one one of the boys it has a special place for you Dave it certainly does um, it's a song that I wrote about my father being uh, the bit of a rebel rat that he was um, in, in his prime I suppose uh, yeah we, we spent lots and lots of hours and you know in the garage and uh, he was one of those jack of all trades co- kind of people taught me everything you know how to fix things how to work on cars carpentry welding like all that sort of stuff that I, I still enjoy doing today Um so yeah, we we were very close, and um, and uh, the title of the song "One of the Boys" uh, came from uh, something that a, a mate of mine said to me once, and it just stuck in my, in my mind over the years. Unfortunately, Dad uh, passed away in 2004, and it took me um, quite a few years before I could you know muster could, the could muster up the courage, I suppose, to to write the song. It was something a friend mate of mine because Dad, Dad just loved doing all the things that we used to do. Our mates used to get together and do, and and uh, one day I remember. Dad saying, you know, like, um, oh, I wouldn't mind coming on that camping trip with your son, you know. Um, and I, I asked uh, one of my mates, I said, oh, you don't mind if, you know, Dad comes along? And he said, oh, of course not. Uh, Bob's just one of the boys. And um, I thought that was a, a, a great title, a fitting title uh, for a song to write about him. So, yeah, that, that's how it all sort of come about. Tonight we're uploading the YouTube video, um, which will go with that, that song. You, when you see it, you'll see it photographs with the lyric and beautifully presented of Dave and his dad, basically. I'm actually quite oh. embarrassed about some of those old <laughs> photos. <laughs> but uh, my mother and Patsy said, no, you've got to leave them in there. They're great. When I listen to the song, like Darren and his mates and, you know, our son and that, every now and then, well, they try to do it once or twice a year, but they go away on a boys' weekend and they are just one of the boys. And I think that sort of comes home to me when I hear it. So if that song can just make one family or one man be one of the boys or come out and say, hey, I want to be one of the boys, I think, you you know, you've hit the nail on the head and it's doing a good thing for everybody. You know, it's something that it, there's a lot of truth in the song that, that and even like the opening line, uh, not here for a long time, I'm, I'm here for a good time. He say that all the time. But it was such an inspiration to all of my mates. Someone that, that they would come to for advice. You know, it, they all used to love knocking around with Dad, and um, and we all had a great time together growing up. I just want to clarify that that we've actually invited Tracy and the girls to come along <laughs> for the camping oh, yeah. trips, but <laughs> but they've refused because oh, the term because the terms are that they're not allowed to go fishing, they're not allowed to play any of the sports. They've just got to be there to clean up and cook, <laughs> and they don't. <laughs> And they haven't seen the fun side of that yet. No, and we're never going to see the fun side of that. I think uh, the boys have their own special way to uh, clean up and cook, don't we? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, the right way. <laughs> I yes. don't think it exists. I think that's the problem. That's the one I've seen him pack. <laughs> we're very basic. <laughs> so who does the pa- who's going to be packing? Because I know you're heading off to Mildura and you're going to be there for five days. Who's doing the packing? Who's going to pack the car? Uh, Dave. Um, that's, oh. not, I know, that's normally my job. So, um, yeah. you know, Patsy has this way of being very, very busy when it comes to packing the car and, and, and nice has a lot work. of board meetings on at that time. So, <laughs> A very wise woman. Very oh, good. don't worry. I, 
<laughs> yeah, I, somehow I tend to disappear too when we're packing up, you know, the equipment following a gig too. I don't quite know how that And works. I always get into trouble uh, if I forget something. <laughs> uh, uh, great yeah. to catch up with you tonight. This is the single. It's called One of the Boys. Fishing on a river by 